here's kind of the latest version of uh, the logging winch here on a tractor and just the whole setup. Um, I've got two mounts. That's a lighter, my newest saw. Um, just nice to have if you get something pinched. I got it plugged in because I'm run it. I could put my 460 here or any of them and uh, I've got to have a little container there for odds and ends, trauma pack, like a Israeli, you know, bandage. Um, but I can put everything here, snatch block, helmet, um, you know, all the odds and ends that I carry, files, some basic tools that you need in the, in the field. Um, I don't know if my three in one tool is in there. I had it in the ATV and that jostles it all around. I think I better put that in there. Put another one in there. These, you gotta have a whole shit ton of these around. Um, oh no, I do have a three in one tool. Ah, it lives where it can't get jostled around. I'm thinking, there it is. So that's a good place for it. Yeah. Oh, it's just, nothing's worse than being out in the woods and getting stuck without one of these. Well, maybe I can get a few things that are worse, but by the way, this is just, it's a mess right now, but this whole setup has been such a game changer to be able to have everything vertical and movable right where I'm always working. Mounting some skis here, metal table, but it's really for everything. Um, just welded this on this fall and this is, is making life more productive and easier. Um, chains here, hatchet for pounding wedges, bunch of wedges, everything kind of in one place. And I can put the PV vertically back in here with this um, black bungee. So it's been working good. Not gonna make money logging with this setup without a skitter, but for my own firewood, uh, it's a really nice, nice setup. The one thing I always uh, show students and apprentices, but I don't think I've put in any of my videos just haven't had the camera out at the right time is something that I found is really helpful for uh, chainsaw maintenance and safety of your water supply and water in general um, and also a good way of avoiding killing a bar and chain is always fill the oil the bar oil first right because then you can't forget it because you can run the saw without the bar oil but you can't run the saw without the gas so that's one way of not forgetting and then when you fill the gas do it on a slab a concrete slab or on a sunny day out on a on an asphalt area so if and when you spill because you'll definitely spill gas eventually even if you use one of these really nice containers which I should have bought at the beginning 20 years ago and instead, I only bought maybe six years ago, which is just stupid and cheap and really just not knowing better. So get one of these early on, and you'll be happy you didn't spend all this dumb money on uh, plastic ones that are now in the landfill. Shake it always because you got your two-stroke engine oil in there. I also put a little more than 50 to 1 or even more than 40 to 1, like maybe 35 to 1. Uh, maybe it's a little harder on the spark plug, but I think it's a little easier on the saw. I want the saw to last damn near forever. And if you fill on a slab or asphalt outside on a sunny day, you, when you do spill, even if you use one of these, you'll probably spill a little bit eventually, the gas won't go into the groundwater because it'll evaporate first. Not that it's great for the air, but it's better than in the ground. Um, a pint of gasoline learned a long time ago will uh, contaminate a s Olympic sized swimming pool uh, if it was a drinking water aquifer it'd be unfit to drink an Olympic sized pool just a pint of gas really toxic in, in water and then it doesn't evaporate so if you spill a little on a slab it just evaporates and I've learned the hard way to set it up your saw up and make sure it's not leaking before you go run off with it. 
Now I overfilled that a touch. Another good reason to do it before you're ready to go because I'll just let it run out and kind of dry on this slab right here. Um, but I've had some of the steel models, these caps are not very good and you'll think they're solid, but they're not. And then they come off and they get all over you and all over the ground and it's just a waste of bar oil and it's just unnecessary pollution. Do I use biodegradable oil? Yes, I do for the most part. Um, I've also used used vegetable oil. I don't have any right now, but uh, seems to work pretty good. Those are nice and sharp. By the way, I was using 732nd, but then I'll true it up every now and then with this new Timberline sharpener I'll show you guys about in another video, and that is a 1364th. But a 732nd is just fast um, and a more durable edge. This chain needs to be tightened a tiny bit, but not much.